Oh, hello, viewers. Welcome back to Parasite Eve. In the last part, we finished Chapter 1, or as I like to call it, the prologue. And then I turned off the console because I just felt like it. In this part, we're going to do Day 2, also known as Chapter 2. It has a title or something along those lines. I guess it's not too important. We're just going to load it on up, get it going. Okay, day two, fusion. It's really just the title of the chapter, I guess. It's all good. It'll make sense. It's symbolic. It's 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 supposed to be a metaphor for something. I guess that's unimportant. But there's more to this chapter than meets the eye, so you know, might as well get to it. Oh man, our partner's worried about us. That's fantastic. Uh, I wish I could rest, but who knows what happened last night. You know, uh, Melissa. That's right, Eve. Or, or the actress, person, I don't really know. Opera. Everyone burned. It got straight up Carrie in there. Nix, you have a very interesting name, but I, I it, it's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I guess technically there was... You know, pyrokinesis or something, ESP, something like that. Uh, yeah, might as well just stick with that. Uh, you're not buying it. Well, I don't know how else to describe it, man. Yeah, and I'm the only witness. Wait, what about our date person, not boyfriend? He survived, right? Everyone saw him. I, I detect a little bit of, a, of an oversight. Uh, I guess this is our boss. Yeah, he read our report, and he's just like, man, I don't know, I'm skeptical. Uh, I guess he's telling us, better be safe than sorry, and give us... He gives us a weapon mod permit uh, to get a better gun. And I have control, and my analog... Oh, man, I gotta configure the controls. Give me a second, viewers. And we're back. Alright, I just need to turn on the joystick, the analog mode. Because, uh, you know, PS3, all that stuff. Uh, fair enough. I guess we'll just get on going. I wasn't ready to use the direction pad. Uh, just not my forte. Technical difficulties aside, now I can explore our place of work. Our job. We got Nyx, you know. He's talking about, uh, how are we supposed to deal with that. He's got a good point. We're just regular police people. We don't know how to deal with special creepy powers. Let alone mitochondria, ESP. You're still talking about the whole ESP thing because you can't wrap your mind around that? I guess it makes sense. Uh, our partner, Daniel. Uh, okay, that's cool. You know, we're the only witness. He has faith in us. He's, he's, good. he's a good person. He's our best friend. Uh, I think there's actually a title going along with Aya and Daniel, but uh, we'll get into that later, maybe, if that comes up. It's not too important right now. What is important is that we gotta get to the uh, weapon locker. Or the place where they keep all the good weapons, all the good shit. Uh, fellow policewoman talking about stuff. Stuff, I don't really care. It's not important. What's important is, let's see, we got we got this door. Is this where we need to go? Something tells me it is. Oh, it totally is. Might as well check the chest over here. Got it to, oh, that's a good thing to get. Uh, before I talk to the main person in the room, I'm just going to open up all these crates and exchange an item. Oh. Oh. You know what? I won't. But there's a reason for it, you see. I gotta talk to the main guy right here. Uh, gotta position myself, though. Oh, man. This guy's flirting with us. Hey, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy. Oh, man. See, he's cool. He was like, he was ready to give us the good shit. I don't know if this guy is who I would say balding. I mean, it's Torres, sure, and he's got a little bit of a ponytail, but uh, he's, he's pretty much by the book. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to handle the guns, man. Uh, so I guess Wayne here is pretty much the incompetent one who's ready to go guns blazing. But that's pretty cool, you know. I'll keep him in mind. 
I'll probably need a rocket launcher at some point. Uh, yeah, I need, I need a tune-up. Uh, last night's case. Uh, and, and he's got this by-the-book attitude, but, you know, as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. So it's a vicious cycle. I understand. And anyways, it's not the ordinary crook, you know. It's not the basic run-of-the-mill type guy. They got freaky powers. They can mutate animals. Things evolve. It's pretty messed up. Anyways, not important. What's important is... Uh, Wayne here will act as our storage person. We can store everything and anything. So if you give me a second, because I don't think you want to see me clear out all my inventory. Oh man, I had to resume everything. I apologize. Uh, so yeah, the most powerful gun. Uh, this thing. Uh, also, Captain Baker, he already know if I, Yeah, okay, I can show you the mod permit. But the thing is, I don't want to. I want to save it for later. Because I can totally do that. That's an option. Uh, very important. I don't recommend using it right now. It's kind of a wasted potential. Uh, and Torres will just kind of be like, Oh, man, I can't do it. No exceptions. Should have done it. And also, uh, this guy tells us about tools. Turns out I have one. I got one. They're pretty legit. I was planning on showing this off in a second. Uh, and he's going to say that you can do some pretty radical things. Like break the game. Oh, we got a tutorial. Yeah, using the item thing, you can increase the parameters of uh, stuff. Not important. Allow me to show you. Better hands-on experience, if you know what I mean. Yeah, okay. Really, you can't fuck up things. I think that's what they're saying. Uh, and he's saying you got a club. Oh, I haven't even talked about the club. Club is a whole new experience. Also, it should be noted, we have these things. I don't care about those things. What I care about is, I guess, showing you what the tool does. You see, we got one. So I guess it's time to explain how tools work. As well as the brief summary of the tutorial that we just had. So, you have equipment, armor, weapons, and they're pretty good. But you might be wondering, can I make them broken beyond all hell? The answer is yes. It involves tools. First off, make sure you have one in your inventory. Secondly, go to the tune-up option in the menu. So you do that, you take the equipment that you probably have equipped, or the equipment that you're going to have equipped, because it has a high base total. So with that, you take a weapon that you don't give two hoots about, select it, apply the parameter bonuses, because it has base and it has like a bonus amount of stats. You'll just take those stats, apply it to your own weapon, and then bam, it ha it's even more broken. It's even better. You can do this over and over again, it don't make no difference. By the way, I should probably mention, uh, special items and all that, you need to move those manually to the inventory. Clear out your own inventory, it's very limited. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna clear out the rest of my inventory, but basically, yeah, there you go. Basic summary on tools. You should know that when you're trying to store your equipment, it's... A lot longer than necessary because it's not automatic. You have to go to the location in the other option, select it, and then move the thing over. It's very long and tedious, but I digress. Uh, I, I'm pretty much going bare minimum. I don't need it. We have a discard junk option from Wayne, but I can't really do anything with that. It's going to come into play pretty soon, though, so don't worry about it. I just thought I'd explain that because, you know, the game really doesn't. <laughs> It's not important. <laughs> For the most part, though, my inventory is looking pretty slim. Oh man, I could I could totally just reorganize everything. I'm not gonna though. No one needs to see that. I'm just gonna move on with my life. Cause really, there's not much else to do other than advance the plot. 
Also, it should be no, there's other doors over here. Might as well go check them out, right? Go go take a look at our workplace. See what we got going on. Like the dog kennel. Oh man, puppies. I can't play with them because I'm a police officer and that's immature and doesn't fit I's profile personality. Uh, I love to watch them. I always come here after my shift just to relax. You know what? I can get behind this guy. I'm an animal person. I would do the same thing too. Oh man, can I have that job? I would do pretty well just working with the dogs. It'd be pretty legit. I can't access that room. Uh, that will not come into play for a while, so don't worry too much about it. It's not its not that important, everybody. What's up? Oh man, there's a kid over there. Uh, that, that's important. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say why right now, but it's important. Well, we'll go to it in like five seconds. This is the changing room. I, I'd like to note, there's a changing room. I'm in the male changing room, at least. Uh, poison cure, that's what the P stands for, poison. I, I, I get it. Uh, oh, okay, I don't understand why. I'm in the male changing room. I mean, is it a unisex changing room? Because that seems kind of weird. I mean, may, I guess. Put on your vest. Yeah, alright, I got it. You don't need to tell me what to do, Dad. I know how to police around in this game. I've done it before. I guess I could go check on my co-workers. I, honestly... I don't think there's much of a point. In fact, let me cut it just to see if any the dialogue changed. Well, I guess nothing was important in there. Don't worry about that door. Uh, I, I guess I could talk to the kid, but I'm, I'm not buying that story. I gotta go towards the exit, because let's be honest, there's this guy typing over here, and I need to talk to the receptionist. Police officer receptionist. Uh, yeah, total bummer, right? Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Man, what a fiasco. No one uses that word, Gildum. How dare you? Uh, I guess I'll go attack to the kid. Oh boy, no other options. Actually, to be honest, this kid is important. Super important, you see. Uh, we're asking if he's lost. We don't know this kid. Uh, but Daniel does because his name is Ben and apparently Daniel is his father. So this is this is Daniel's kid I'm pretty sure it, yeah, and knows about Ben because you know, he's he's our partner We talk about things stuff uh, Ben apparently has tickets and Daniel forgot about the concert and he's like really sorry about it But you know what Ben's upset because you're not being a good dad Daniel. How dare you? I think A, A is a little bit more of a, a daughter child to Daniel, you know, straight up, I, I'm your kid, or something along those lines. Man, this, this is kind of hitting a little too close to home, I mean, uh, my dad works a lot. When I was a kid, he, would, he never really made a whole lot of time for me, but I, I guess I shouldn't relive my own childhood, because, uh, not the time. Kathy. Oh man. Wait, you knew about Daniel's son? Ben? Oh man. Oh, how did you know about this? Look, I'm his partner, but where do you even fit into this whole line of thing? Are, are you stu- are you stalking Daniel, man? Lorraine, his ex-wife. Okay, alright. I got it. I know Ben's mom. By name. Not in person. Oh man, Dad, yes, that's, man, that's gotta be hard. Also, the boss is looking for us. I guess we gotta go report to the boss. The boss. So, yeah, um, we just had a little bit of a plot to, oh man, Daniel. I, I guess you should go talk to him and be like, hey man, I'm your, you're not gonna change your story, huh? You're just gonna buy mine. All right, I got it. This whole, this whole intensive co-worker soap opera, I got it. Man, Captain Baker, <laughs> I gotta be all formal with you, sir. Anyways, 
So what's up, boss? You were looking for me? Having a press conference. Oh, uh, really? On Christmas? Reporters are... Okay, I, you know what? New York City, I got it. 1997, everyone's busy on Christmas. It's the city. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Wait, you're telling me I'm going to be on national TV because I'm a sole survivor? What kind of horse crap is this? Uh, only answer when I ask you. Uh, the media is just looking for anything. I, I don't know, man. Um, this this kind of fucked. Uh, they even turn on you. What? How would they turn? You know what? I don't understand media. I guess I'll have to buy what you're saying because you know a little bit more of how this works. I gotta go to a press meeting. Great, is it gonna be an action time adventure? If I don't press the right button, it's gonna make me look like a suspect or something. Uh, a terrorist, I guess. Man, back back in the day, they were using terrorists? I mean, it got popular later on, but at the same time, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. Uh, currently speculating how the counts of an officer and fires... You, you know what? I didn't do it. <laughs> The result is I didn't do it. Highly flammable chemicals. Yeah, sure. Mitochondria, those are chemicals, right? Another question. How did Detective Bria survive with the... You know what? That's a good question. Uh, and, and Baker totally is on it. The results of our, of our uh, police training. Because, you know, the fine people of the the uh new york police department they know how to respond to such a crazy uh mitochondria mutation oh so we're just gonna straight up go into conspiracy theory uh well you know baker didn't want us to be a suspect now we're kind of already going into straight up suspects yelling about how the world's ending on a street corner i got it uh alien yeah, totally. Aliens. That, that's the reason. She's very tired to still investigate. I don't know what to say, people. <laughs> you, you done did it. I done fucked my career. I, I'm gonna get fired. Baker's gonna read me out. Here we go. Uh, not to say anything, you're fired. I'm tell You know what? It sounds like a bunch of hokum from my end. If I wasn't there, I wouldn't believe it. See, he understands. No one's gonna believe you. You're just gonna stir up the media and cause a mass panic. Stupid. Daniel, you are our BFF, man. I, see, this guy already. Heart of gold. I love my partner. Plutonically, not, not in a weird way like that. I mean, come on. He's already gone through, like, some sort of divorce and he's got a kid. Baker. What? Oh. Are, are you telling us that there's something weird going on? Another outbreak? Uh, some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English. Okay, so he was he was speaking broken English. Uh, ra ra raving about mito uh, mitochondria. Mito. Is that the new... No, mitochondria. Mito, though, that, that sounds like the new action hero in an anime like with giant robots like big o that that would be amazing energy from out dude <laughs> look we bear like back in my day i barely covered mitochondria in biology uh this game is already teaching me more than i learned in school that's both sad and amazing at the same time uh, okay, alright, so they mentioned something about a museum, so the point of this is to go to a museum. Daniel's leading the way. Everyone got that? Good. Because I'm ending the part here. You guys do what you want. I, I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm going to talk to my co-workers.